Excuse me, ma'am. Have you got 25p for a cup of tea? 25p? A cup of tea doesn't cost 25p. No, no, I'm expecting company. Oh, very well, very well. Well, look at that. You've got ten pence in your hand already. Ah, oh, well, that's to tip the waiter. Thank no. you very much, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you think I could possibly have a few slices off your loaf of bread? Yes, of course you can, my good man. And do you think you could possibly cut them off for the jammy knife? It's sliced. Oh. Oh, oh hello, ma'am. Is that a rice pudding? Yes, it is. Does it belong to anybody? Yes, it does. Oh, I, mean, I love cold rice pudding. This is hot. Oh. Oh, ah, oh, excuse me, ma'am. Have you got 20p for a filled sandwich? No. Have you got 10p for a donut? No. Well, have you got 5p for a pat of butter? No. She's worse off than I am. Maybe she'd like my mouth organ. No. Oh, well, even if I had all the money in the world, just think of all the things that I still couldn't buy. If I had a million pounds, I couldn't buy sheets for a flower bed or shoes for a walking stick. If I had a million pounds, I couldn't buy a hat for a hammerhead or build a house from an ice cream brick. And oh, money cannot buy a sunny day or raindrops glistening on the web of spider weaves and oh money cannot make the autumn stay if it's the time when autumn leaves if I had a million pounds I couldn't light the fire with a cricket mat or sail a boat through a front door lock. It's only me, dear. If I had a million pounds, I bet that I still could not find a grandson for an old grandfather clock. China, that is. See that? Roland N. Cash, that stands for. Sir Roland N. Cash, actually. He's a millionaire. He's so rich. He's so rich. He even has his initials on his tissues. Mind you, he's a very busy man. In fact, if it wasn't for spats, I don't think he'd get anything done at all. Spats, his butler. Looks after him like a baby, he does. In fact, Sir Roland... 
says that spats is worth his weight in gold. Good morning, sir. Very clement weather this morning, sir. Good. Ah. Ah. Oh! Oh! Sorry, sir. Just buffing up the old pillow, sir. Lovely to have the old pillows buffed up, sir. Huh? Uh, a bit of over-buffing there, I think, Spurs. <coughs> uh, it would seem so, sir. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Right. Whew. Oh. Now, would you, would you care for your spectacles and your newspaper, sir? Oh, yes, thank you. Ah. 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 Spats. Yes, Did you iron the paper? Naturally, sir. Thank you. Oh! Ah! Oh. Nothing much in it, sir. I just had a quick look through it. Oh. Would you care to choose your tie for today, sir? Right, yeah. Ah. Uh, 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 no, it's, um. Hmm. I think this one. So. Ah, splendid choice, if I may say so, sir. Thank you very much. Would you care for your breakfast in bed, sir? Mm, lovely, thank you. Spats. Oh. Lower the legs. Oh, very well. Uh, Spats, oh. the uh, the table legs. Oh yes, sir. Thank you. There you are. Right. I think I'll have a cup of the old Rosie Lee right away. Very good, sir. Ah! Haven't you forgotten something? I don't think so, sir. Cup. There's a cup there, sir. It's upside down. Oh, really? How amazing. Fancy spotting that. Ah. Ah. Milk? No, thank you. Oh, milk. Now, nah, sorry, sir. Yes. Ah. Uh, uh. Sugar, sir. Just one lump, please. One lump. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There don't seem to be any lumps. How does one get it in lumps? One buys it in lumps. Really? How amazing. The toaster is under the cloth to keep it warm. Thank you. Oh dear, oh dear. Hope the egg isn't overdone. Oh! <laughs> now, now, would you like me to dip a soldier in for you, sir? If you must. <sighs> oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Spats. Sorry, sir. Uh, I think I'll do without breakfast today. Oh, very well, sir. Ow! So that's what they mean by breakfast in bed. I make a rotten butler, sir. A little short of perfect, sir. I'll tell you what. Yes. Look, you hop back into bed and I'll uh, wait on you. Very well, as sir. As usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, 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 you know, I quite enjoyed swapping over like that. Yeah, it was a jolly good idea of yours. Oh, well, it was yeah. your idea, sir. Really? Yeah. How amazing. Uh. Right then, where were we, sir? Clement weather this morning, sir? Nah. Uh, Breakfast in bed as usual, sir? Ah, splendid. Right. Well, I'll go and iron the paper then, sir. Nah. Uh, uh, splendid.
gent. Here's a gent. What kind of gent is this? Secret, a eh, gent? Here's a gent. Here's a gent. What kind of gent is this? Tan gent? Here's a gent. Here's a gent. What kind of gent is this? A travel agent. Here's a gent. Here's a gent. What kind of gent is this? Go away. Go away. Deter gent. Here's a gent. Do leave. Do leave. Here's a gent. What kind of gent is this? Oh, gent. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this evening's... Catch! Coin tossing competition. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, on the other side of this magnificent coin, we have a target. Now, into the target, the coins will be tossed. They will score five, four, three, two, or one, depending on where they land. Should they land on a line, they will score the lower number. Now, then, I will be keeping score with this bag of chips especially Crinkle Cut, and our two competitors who are waiting to start this game are from Prestwich in Manchester, Miss Julie Stevens, <laughs> and from Clifton in Bristol, Mr Tony Robinson. <laughs> and he's been practising for months, and I understand that Miss Stevens is really fit and ready for this competition. Now, I will toss the coin. Would you like to call, madam? Heads or tails? Yes. There you are, you have one. OK, so it's three coins each. Now, watch the techniques that these people employ. This looks as though it's going to be a very gentle, underarm, sneaky throw in, and it's straight in for a very neat little two. Now, Robbins, what's he doing? Look at the tongue, look at the tongue. Look, he's talking to himself again. He always does this. He always does this. Oh, look, yeah. the three. So he's got one in the lead. Three. See the relief on this? He's been building this tent. Ah, now then, I heard about this. It was may have read about this in your sports papers yesterday. The lobe throw. She's got it on uh, the ear. Uh, What's it? Uh, ah, ah, oh. oh, an online for a three there. A very good there. Ear, ear, they all shout. Right, now then, oh, yes. Now this is the elbow shot. The elbow shot. What's the matter? Look at it. How it, oh, ah, did that. I have an idea that he might have cheated, but I would not like to say so on the air. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's five rooms over there. Now watch this one. Four. Oh, yes. Yes, she's been, ah, she's been practicing with Jeff Capes. Four. This is putting the shot, putting the coin under the chin. Four. Don't swallow it. Four. Oh, ah, ah, slid across the five onto the four. <sighs> Four more chips over there. Another last one. Oh, yes, this was practiced on Kilimanjaro. He went to Japan for six months. Look at this. This is the... <laughs> ah! Oh, ah! oh, and another five over there. So I think that makes that a scene. Now, Stephen has got three, six, nine over there. And here we have three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Lucky for some, thirteen. Mr Robinson is the winner. You've had your chips. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'd just like to say a big thank you to all yeah, the uh, and boys thank, about whom thank we you. And thank you. And now for our business news, over to the girl on the spot. Hello. This is your girl on the spot reporting from the business front. First, good news from the trampoline business. After a downward trend, sales are bouncing up again. Bad news from the papermaking business, they've folded. We've just heard that the cardboard business is making a packet, but the bill sticking business has gone to the wall. Over in the crane construction business, things are picking up. In fact, you could say that they're really swinging. <laughs> The clockwork toy business has wound down and stocks are running out. As I said, stocks are running out. The mail order business has been written off. The carpet business is making a pile. The submarine business has gone under. The ice pick business has reached a peak. The toffee making business is sticky. And we've just heard from the Royal Mint that they are making a pretty penny. Ah, and a last minute check from the video phone. Excuse me. 
speaking. Good morning. Bad news from the green grocery business. Prices are slipping. In fact, everything is going absolutely bananas. Standing by the fruit store on the corner, once I heard a customer complain. You never seem to show the fruit we all love so. That's why business hasn't been the same. I don't like your peaches. They are full of stones. I like bananas because they have no bones. Don't give us tomatoes. Can't stand ice cream cones. We like bananas because they have no bones. No matter where I go, whether Nita, Brian or Tony, I must have my banana because it is not bony. The cabbages and onions hurt my singing tones. We like bananas. Stranger. Yep. Say, it's you. Hop along. Uh -huh. Put it there, partner. Say, from the back, you look like a perfect stranger. Well, in that case, I think I'll go around the back and have a walk. <laughs> Say, uh, uh -huh. hop along. I was thinking, could you lend me something, seeing as how I'm stony broke? Oh, well, I could uh, let you have this little thing. Hey, this is Tim. Oh, thought it was five. No, it's just a piece of Tim. <laughs> Ain't you uh, got any paper money you could let me have? Well, I couldn't let you have this here $13 bill. Hey. Uh, I got it off a little girl in a saloon in Tucson. Counterfeit. Uh -huh, she had two. I mean, this piece of paper's counterfeit. You been twisted. Oh. They don't make $13 bills. Really? How much you give her for it? Well, I gave her one $7 bill and two $3 bills. They don't make them either. Really? What, what were you wanting the money for anyway? Well, I've got to get myself a horse. A horse? Go down on a horse. Like the one I got here is going to cost an awful lot of money. How much were you thinking of borrowing? Well, I reckoned about $20. 20 Well, I could let you have 10 Oh, well, give me that for now. Uh -huh. That's OK. Now, you still owe me $10. Ah, uh, yeah. And I still owe you $10. Uh-huh, yep. That means we're even. Uh-huh, yep. Oh, fine. Oh, where? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that, that's a strange kind of getting even. What kind of horse were you thinking of buying? Well, I was figuring on getting myself a palomino. Oh, well, now, I'm a pal of yours, right? And you're a palomino. Right. And what I always say is, any pal of yours is always a pal of mine. Yeah. Hop on the back there, okay, cowgirl. Okay, there. Giddy up there, hop along. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, I'll swap you my striped glitter socks for your discreet city socks. All right, provided that you'll take my Bristol City socks for your lovely long woolly ones that go right up to your ankles. Done. And that's the last report from the Sock Exchange. I think I'd like to go away where soft summer breezes play across a cloudless, clear blue sky. A place that's sunny, warm and dry. Well, why don't you try? Hawaii! Hawaii, Hawaii! You can go there on a boat or you can fly. Oh, the price is sky high. And Hawaii is a long Hawaii, Hawaii. How about a day trip to Scarborough? <laughs> My daddy is so rich, he just bought me a whale for the garden pond. My daddy is so rich that he won't even drive in the same car with his sofa. My daddy is so rich that we have a gold bath. Really? Mm. Has it got an 18-carat ring round it? My daddy is a gentleman farmer. Does that mean he milks cows with gloves on? Silly. Cows don't wear gloves. My daddy is buying me a tennis outfit. It's called Wimbledon. My, my daddy is buying me a new train set. It's called British Whale. Well, my daddy is buying me a new golf club. It's called Glen Eagles. We are absolutely rotten with money. You'd be absolutely rotten without money. Ooh. Roll up, roll up. Honest Henry's the name, a legend in my own lunchtime. Now, what have I got for you lucky people? Here you are. Just the thing for anyone who wants to bolt down their food. Don't go out without one. Talking of food, ladies and gentlemen, talking of food is a lovely new product. It's got camel flavouring, ideal for humpy gravy. And here, here is a new breakfast cereal for budgies. It's called Shredded Tweet, going cheap. Now, you know what they say, ladies and gentlemen, you know what they say. They say, if you've got a headache, they say, nothing works faster than anodine. So, here's a bottle of nothing to you, 20p. Latest craze, ladies and gentlemen, here's the latest craze. Saw dancing, saw dancing, as you know, it's the latest craze. You dance and you cut your toenails both at the same time. Here's a lovely new novelty product, ladies and gentlemen, lovely new novelty product. As you can see, it's a telescope. It's a telescope with a built-in brush attachment allows you to sweep the horizon. Ah, I'd like one of those. Certainly, sir. Going cheap to you, sir. Did I say £10, sir? Not £10 to you, sir. Not 9 not 8 not 7 not 6 not £6.50, not £5.50 to you, sir. Five nicker. Have you got anything smaller? No, sorry. No change? No change. No telescope. Oh, really? Oh, dear. Do you know, I've been trying to change this million-pound note for two weeks. I haven't even been able to buy myself a cup of tea. Oh. Uh. If I had a million pounds, I couldn't get weighed on a musical scale or carve my name on a hound dog's bark. Oh, don't do that. If I had a million pounds, I still couldn't make a blackbird sing. But you're very welcome to try it for a lark. Do you know, I could marry a man tomorrow with ten thousand pounds. Then why don't you? Can't find ten thousand pounds. Heard about the photocopying business? No! Tell us about the photocopying business! They've made a million! I'm so rich! I'm so rich! I've just hired a gamekeeper! What, what for? for? To look after my Ludo! I say, do you know what was the best birthday present I ever had? No! My mouth organ! Why? Because my mum used to pay me not to play it.
perfect day. It's going to be a simply gorgeous sunset. Yeah, and there won't be a fizz when it hits the water. <laughs> Brian Kant, Anita Dobson, Julie Stevens, Tony Robinson and Jonathan Cohen are now appearing in a stage version of Prayer Way at Riverside Studios, London. And now on to, Hugh Burnett looks at what some believe is a very alarming phenomenon out of this world. <laughs> 